feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power A double X-Hat. Power to the power. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. <laughs> welcome, welcome, family. Welcome to Late Night with Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide, right here on Positive Power, Double XI. I am the Batman of Charm City. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the shows that was before this. It was simply powerful. Don't forget, everybody, tune in Monday through Thursday. That's right, starting at 8 o'clock all the way to midnight. You get all types of different types of podcasts, all spiritual, all encouraging, all inspiring. And also starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's right, you get the encore and also some some stuff you don't get to hear live. So tune in starting at 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday at Positive Power Double X site. Catch it right on Spooker Radio and go catch it all on demand. Spotify, Our Heart, Apple Podcasts, Google, just to name a few. And a couple more on the horizon. So stay tuned in and stay on our page. Jerry was live. Find out what's going on. And of course, all our podcasters carry all of our shows as well. Tonight, tonight, we got an awesome guest. She's been here before. She's not a stranger to positive power. Also, she's been on my journey with Paula G. She performed on stage. She did it all. Very exciting young lady. She's a Christian hip hop rapper out of the Baltimore area, and I'm so excited to have her here. And and Kelly get to interview her. What's going on, Kelly Holland from Baltimore? What's going on? Hey, 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 Batman. Hey, Baltimore. How's everybody this evening? Yes. Yeah. Is the streets quiet? Because I haven't been hearing anything lately since they since they pulled the statue into the harbor. <laughs> Things got quiet. <laughs> that was funny. You know what? Baltimore never ceases to amaze me. A lot of things have been funny. Um, and you know what? I, I thought it was hilarious how certain people were upset about the Christopher Columbus statue being brought down. But let's be honest, that's not an in, in American secret. <laughs> I know. We all know the story. We all had to learn that history. He uh, ain't from here. <laughs> so, I know. It's like get away with it all. I get know. away with it all. I mean, you and, know? And, you, and you know Let's what? You know what's breath. doing too. But actually, Sorry. Kelly, th- it's been a good thing because this is causing people to dig deep into the history that's untold. Because I'm telling you, I'm finding mm-hmm. some very, very informative um, videos on YouTube. Where um a lot of these historians, you know, mm-hmm. people who've been teaching this stuff for years that you know we couldn't afford, you know, to go to those schools. So, but those guys are um mm-hmm. are filming uh, a lot of their lectures, and it's man, it's, it's fascinating. I gotta send you something after the show Absolutely. so you can check out too. Okay, all right. Well, let me not hold I'm things. I'm interested up. in it all. Yeah, me too. I just love okay, history. Though. I mean, I go all the way to the. I'm trying, you know, of course, we want more information. So we got to find more truth about, you know, what the Revolutionary War was about. Of course, the Civil War, we find out a lot about that. Starting about, you know, we're not going to get into it. But anybody want to hear some, hear the story? <laughs> Check out last night podcast with uh, the live jazz experience. Our guest actually had dialed in late. So we was able to start some conversation talking about what Kelly just brought up just a second ago and also some issues right now going on in Eastern Maryland, which is home of Frederick mm-hmm. Douglass, Talbot County, Maryland. They actually have mm-hmm. a Confederate statue right across the street from the courthouse and Frederick Douglass statue. So it's, it's raising some eyebrows, not just in that county, but the surrounding counties where you have a lot of your, you know, your people who've been mm-hmm. writing, fighting for civil rights for a real long time. So, they they want they want that thing down. That's what I'm hearing. All right, let's bring on Miss mm, Shay Sharrah. Exactly. What's up, Shay? Sarah. What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. What's How up, you doing? Family? Good. Good to hear Hi. your voice. Yeah. Hi. Good to hear your voice. So excited. I'm so so excited for tonight's show. Again. Yeah. You yeah, know, positive. We are happy to have you. That's right. We embrace you anytime, anytime. All right. Well, look, I'm I'm quiet. Kelly got the show. Batman's on mute. 
Batman's on mute, and he'll be back later. And if I don't say nothing, we'll all know. But, <laughs> but that's my plug. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this evening, Shay Sarah. I know you're no stranger here to the Positive Power family, but I thank you for joining me when I get the co-host of Batman. How are you, lovely? How are you this evening? Amen. I'm doing good. I'm blessed. You know, I just uh, just got finished um, Bible study. And so just home with mm-hmm. my son now, taking it easy, winding down for the night. So what a way to end a good night. So I'm ready. Always, always, always. Mm-hmm. And the Lord is mighty. He'll He'll let you stay in the word at all times and even learn how to make some money doing it too. Hey, amen. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he said, if you praise me, I'm going to bring it all to you. Amen. amen. Um, usually I like to start off and let and let, introduce you to the audience. So, hey, everybody. Here's Shay Sarah. <laughs> but please introduce <laughs> yourself and let everyone know who you are and lovely what it is that you do. All right, so I'm Shea Sabra from Baltimore, Maryland, yeah. and I am a Christian mm-hmm. hip-hop artist. There we go. There we yeah. go. What got you into doing Christian hip-hop? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know him coming up. I wasn't raised in church. I didn't have a God concept at all. The word Jesus and God meant nothing to me coming up. Um, so I got saved. Really? Um, yeah. How does that happen? Wait a minute, non-believer. Back way up. Way up. Way up. You can't say, I ain't know nothing about the Lord and now I make songs for him. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't like I never like it wasn't like I had no idea it existed. Like my mother, we went to church seldomly every now and then here and there, but to me okay. it was just something else that it was just something else to do. Like, okay, what are we doing today? We got a birthday party. What are we doing? Going skating. What are we doing? We going to church and then we going to your cousin's house. Okay. And it was just something thrown in the mix of everything else that you know, no spirituality the, the actually form. connected to mm-hmm. it. Okay, yeah, so you're one. You're part of that group that come in on um, was it Easter and uh, New yeah, Year's maybe? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. That's okay. The Lord yeah. loves you too, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, then, so, so what changed? Even then, everything uh-huh. over my head. I'm just sitting in there because that's just what we was doing for the day. So, not paying attention. Did you like not, the music? Not, uh, no. That's still uh, um, that's still a point of contention with me in my walk because I don't really fit in the Christianity mode, the religious mode. So I have uh-huh. trouble assimilating with the church culture. Honestly, um, it's still a little foreign to me, um, and I'm I'm, I'm still trying to get used that. to. <laughs> So I love no 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I love. So I just said I came from Bible study. You don't don't forsake the gap. Exactly. That's what I'm um, like. I love you and all that. So I love. I love the church culture as far as like the gathering, the lifting one one another, bear each other's burdens. You know the the prophetic uh-huh. word that comes forth, the ministry, the praise and worship. I love it all. But there is an okay. underlying culture. There's an underlying religiosity. Um, mm-hmm. for instance, yeah, the preacher will just say a line and the whole congregation says a line back, you know, like the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the little things that you have to be hip on or you don't look like a Christian when it, that has nothing to do with Christianity. Oh, so, see, she getting deep, y'all. She getting yeah, deep, so y'all. I, I this, really, this ain't surface church. Okay, so I get it. I so get it. I, I get it. I really like doing the, all that. Like, I'll be the only one okay. not responding because I don't feel like everybody else is trying to, like, because they, they're, they're caught up in the religiousness of it. Right. But Right. Really in the excitement and the emotion. Yeah. There you exactly. go. So, okay, yeah. so we got us a real believer on the line, Saints. I'm gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy I went this from one. A Easter, I went from an Easter Christmas to a real one. 
<laughs> I know. She go on non Sundays, y'all. <laughs> okay, because she wants to. All right, and she takes her sign, so he's rooted. Okay, if That's you didn't right. catch Amen. that, I caught it. But okay, all right. <laughs> you know what, sister? I'm enjoying this so far. Um, before we get too deep into this word, um, well, it's going to yeah. come up at every corner, and it should. <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. I just want to applaud you for just saying right there, she said, listen. There's a culture of church that I don't necessarily subscribe to. I subscribe to my Savior. I don't necessarily Amen. subscribe to, you know, that 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 schedule of church that <laughs> that people get Amen. into their routine of. And I understand. Yeah. I completely get it. And I've had that same question. I said, I bet you if I come in 45 minutes, he'd be all hyped up and then church be <laughs> over. You know, it's like you, you get into it. You know, it's kind of messed yeah. up to say, but we all know when church about to be over. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. so, you know, uh-huh. so it's like that, 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 that routine of it. It's like, do we get used to it? Do we miss it? Is church not the same without it? Or how do we find ourselves deeper into it? And if you stay away yeah. from just Sundays, that's when you get into discipleship. That's when you get into right. Bible study. That's when you get into mm-hmm. the deeper learning of the word. And then when you right. petition yourself before God, you'll actually get to see it work. So my question to mm-hmm. you, Miss Lady, is when in your life did you see God work so much so that now you are in this position? You have this platform. <laughs> what? So the initial turn If you point, care to share. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course, absolutely. The initial turning point mm-hmm. uh, was when I had stepped my foot in a church, this time with a desire to want to know what it was about. Um, okay. and so my heart was open to receive. My mind was open to receive. I was just like, um, and I, I talk about, so I have a, I have a book with my testimony in it. Um, it's a book of, okay. of 15, 15 other testimonies as well. Beautiful testimonies, but mine is in there too. And I talk about how God kind of chased me down and led me to this church. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I, I had no choice but to go. Um, <laughs> and, and when I got there, I didn't understand the preaching I didn't understand the message of the word and the the, the sayings and the language but mm-hmm. it connected with a part a part of me so deep that I couldn't deny it and from what there connected I kept, with him the must whole have been the Holy Spirit it, it, it must had to be the Holy because, Spirit so I didn't know at the time <laughs> I didn't know at the time. I just knew that being in that atmosphere and the whole display, the whole shebang that went on that morning, all of it mm-hmm. connected with me deeper than I ever have ever been connected to anything. So I knew it was something there. I realized it was God mm-hmm. and the Holy Spirit. You know, as time passed and I learned, um, I came out of out of my ignorance of the things of God. But that is where the initial conversion uh, came from. Amen. 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 Let me ask you this. Um, Prior to you getting the opportunity to profess your faith in God within the writings of that book, did you ever think that you would be a published author or that you would be a songwriter and that you would be doing all of these things in the name of the Lord? So in the name of the Lord, no, because I didn't know that (laughs) name to begin with. Um, there it is. So no, no, nothing I did was ever going to be in his name. I didn't know his name. Um, but I'm so glad I do now. Amen. Um, Amen. Even when I was, <laughs> <laughs> even when I when I started to do Christian hip hop, though, I never really uh-huh. thought I would be a author in the sense of being like a Christian author. I don't even know if I, if I am a Christian author. But I know that my first book is about testimonies of Christians and the reality of how God met them in their life, where they were in their circumstance as a personal, their personal, personal testimony of how they know God. Uh huh. That is, that is what my first book is about. Um, and that being a book or, or a direction that I would go, I never saw that. Awesome. That is amazing. What type of, what type of support did you receive growing up when it comes to your creative side? Um, 
because a lot of kids, well, let me ask you this. Did you receive mm-hmm. support for your creative side or did you kind of have to hone in that on your own? Oh, man, tons of support. So I was raised by, again, my mom, the, the, the single mother superwoman. Um, all right. She, Shout out to all yeah. the single moms. All Absolutely. right. Me being one, one of them. Down. Hello, hello. Hey, me, <laughs> and me being another one. You know, she was Okay, sister. The sister. <laughs> okay. We, and we got every yeah. hustle we can for our babies. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So she worked her two or three jobs and she made, she sold clothes and did all the things that, you know, she needed to do. Um, And so when she saw the giftings in me, she began to, um, so the first thing she did was get me into a magnet school, a middle school okay, uh, where I was, I was able to, um, to enroll in the music program there. And there I played Uh the, the steel drums, the timpani drums, I was in an African drum band. Um, I actually, that's where I started playing the trumpet. Um, and I took oh, wow. acting and dance. Yeah, then I took acting and dance there. So I was a band geek. So from actually from the fifth grade to 12th grade, I played the trumpet. And I was in all the bands and all that. Um, then and I love I marching a- band life. I didn't remember yeah, how much yeah, I missed yeah. it until I just attended the show. My son played <laughs> drums. Yeah, I completely understand. That's a whole nother culture, baby. Maybe out on that field with your child. You yell until you had no voice. <laughs> dancing to every song you can recognize coming through from them young hearts. You don't understand band culture, baby. Band culture is yeah. fun. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I could definitely understand Magnus School Life. Shout out to uh, mm-hmm. Sudwick Middle, Old Court Middle, uh, Milford Middle. Okay. Middle. Uh, okay. okay. All the that schools that got Raven my kids Middle? started. There we go, Lock, Lock Raven. Raven. Okay, we're the East. We're mm-hmm. Northeast now. Okay, there we yeah. go. <laughs> uh-huh. yep. Yep. There we go. There we go. I love when the teachers cultivate these young students because everybody has some type of interest and talent. It is a shame to put it to waste or to to create these kids that have no self-identity. You know, everybody has an imagination. And when you just foster it, what a product can come of it. So please, 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 your mom definitely encouraged you, had you in all the programs, and you just became this musical talent. Is that that yeah, no, she, there's 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 something missing. Something's missing. You went no, from having the talent no, to being the success. <laughs> so this is the thing. She got me a keyboard when I was fourteen. Okay. And although I had been dabbling in the drums and the and the other stuff, the keyboard was the thing uh-huh. that made me recognize that this is something more than a hobby. Uh, when I began so? to I began to compose melodies and write songs to them. I started writing songs before I started rapping. And I, okay. and I would be like, am I listening to this? Of course, she's like, oh, that's nice. How you think of that? Da, da, da. I'm like, all right, whatever. You my mother, right? But exactly. Then I, go, I, <laughs> I go to, I got to test them in the real, the real crowd, right? So I show them the friends at school and they like, dang, like, who's saying that? Like, you know, they thinking it's on the radio. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, I wrote that. That's me. So <laughs> Yeah, right, right. So Uh I realized, long story short, through the process of writing and sharing, I realized that it was more of a gift. And not only that, I enjoyed it so much. Like, I love to write and create and then share it. Um, So that that was the keyboard was really the, the difference maker for me. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Well, this would be a good point to point out one of your songs. Uh, it's called You Can Do It. What is the push yeah. behind your song, You Can Do It? Because I would like to start with that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was just something fun. Um, obviously, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm motivating uh, the the audience. And mm-hmm. um, the premise behind the song is that, you know, it's going to take work. Because throughout the song, there I'm, it telling is. You, I'm telling you what you got to do. You know, read a new book every 30 days. You know, like keep a checklist. What about the person that doesn't it? like the book? What do you do when you don't like to read? You can't stand Audio a book. new book that often. There she go. There we go. She said, "Hop on that treadmill and listen oh. to a book." Everybody like a good oh, story, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody like a good or, story. Or even you don't. You know, if you're just trying to learn a concept, 
you can go on YouTube and it's somebody lecturing about it. You know, it's so many different mediums to take in the information. Yeah, exactly. Go. So the important thing mm-hmm. is to get the information, get that missing piece so you can continue to build your foundation. And that's, that's the premise of it. Mine is books, yours may be something else, but just mm-hmm. keep feeding, you know, keep feeding yourself so you can keep growing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And on that note, we are going to transition to her song. This is Ms. Shea Sarah Ooh. and her song titled, You Can Do It, on Positive Power. <laughs> Consider not trying to deliver hot rhymes. I figured in my time, it ended in my mind was limited. No grind can mimic the whole time. I was on that slow time to finish it. So I'm presenting God's redemption as the engine of ascension. Man's opinions not contending with purpose. Get in there and work it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If you want to do it, then he's going to bring you through it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You say, I can do it. This song is so prophetic and oh so energetic. No time to frown, the time is now. You hear that sound, so hit the ground and go get it. Some say it's too expensive, it'll cost you everything. But you'll lose more, and I'm moving forward on your dreams. Get up and praise, stack your bread up and say. Uh-huh. Read a new book every 30 days. Yeah. Keep a checklist of steps with directions. Goals. And get a team that's on the same page. Uh-huh. Won't grow if you want to be a stunner. Nope. They're literally the opposite of each other. Gotta learn how to roll with the punches and keep coming. Pick that thing up if you're tired of running. If there's an obstacle stopping you from reaching a yeah. level of optimal, that's yeah. your pedal blocking you. Tell yeah. the devil that God can do exceedingly and abundantly. Uh-huh. So you either move or get under me. You, you want to leave and think outside of you and your company uh-huh. and how to add value to this country. And if at all you should fall off track, I wrote this song to remind y'all that, that you, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. If he brought you to it, then he's going to bring you through it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You say, I can do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so catchy and so positive. Oh, that's Thank beautiful, you. Shay. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> really my little baby kids. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Now, where were you when you came up with that type of inspiration? I know you told us the premise behind the song, but I'm just, just, just the concept of just being positive and saying, okay, we're going to take it to this area of life. Like, everybody can go back to the little, you know, we're on the playground and we're cheering each other up, like, okay, let's go, you can do it, let's go. Like, you know, and then, like, where did that come from? It seemed like you were feeling real so playful you know, and happy in God. Uh huh. <laughs> so, you know, I tend to make up these, I call them house songs. Okay. They just kind of nonsensical, just little catchy phrases that me and my son might sing around the house. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they stick and they grow, they grow legs and wings, and they they get played on positive power. Sometimes it they is. just stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, that, right. that was one of them things. It just came. It just it was one of the things I just kind of threw out there just for fun, just playing around. Um, and I would say it often enough, and I'm like, huh, I wonder, you know, if that has potential to be a song, and just kind of, it kind of grew from there. 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was such a nice song. <laughs> oh, man, I wasn't expecting it. I'm like, okay, well, this, this is it. You know, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be like so live and hype. Okay, oh, that was cute. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. it. Um, you are welcome. Where has life taken you now that you are on Jesus Hide? Team Jesus! <laughs> what has changed? Where has life brought you? <laughs> Um, so I definitely as compared, I'm sorry, that's kind of an open ended yeah. question. Let me let me be more yeah. be more clear. I, Where I has life brought that. you <laughs> no problem? Where has it brought <laughs> you from prior? You know, like who were you before you became the soul fighter? I wanna know, like were you a messy adult and then and then you just like, Lord save me or were you just like I'm I'm kinda interested, I never really was that bad of a person or you know, like like what what really yeah. made you say, like I know you were an artist I know everybody has their trials and struggles, trials and struggles, but I'm just curious, yeah. very much nosy, more than curious, but <laughs> just curious to find out, Absolutely. you know, because everybody has their story yeah. and that trial, but I'm just, but and right. most people have more than one. Like, who were you? Were you angry? Were you upset? Were you always yeah. a jovial, happy person? Because band people, they got, they got a lot of punk. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out, like, were you ever depressed? Did you have a hard life? Like, what happened, girl? Or were you just always a positive person and just didn't know Jesus? Like, <laughs> so I, I, I think I was, I was never too, too bad. I was never too bad. I wasn't, I wasn't angry and none of that. Um, I was very, I had a good life. My mother, like I said, she worked to make sure we could, you know, afford nice things to make sure we could stay you know, and as close to the county or in the county as possible to make sure we went to good schools. I, I wore Jordans mm-hmm. like I, I was not. I was not. You know, I, I, I was good. No hard life um, here, huh? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's no. all right. Um, That's so okay. Things, things kind of took a turn when I again when, there I was we 14, go. When, she, when she got me the the keyboard. Coincidentally, that was when she kind of got first diagnosed. Not kinda. She got first diagnosed with breast cancer. And so okay. like, she was she wasn't able to really work and do the things that she was normally doing. We had a lot of uh, free time or would you would say a lot less supervision. Super there we go. Time. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot less supervision. <laughs> um she was home mm, just trying to keep herself girl. alive, you know. Yeah, right. so I was it just getting into ev- everything out. My main, you know, smoking, drinking, having sex, whatever, doing my doing my thing. Did you ever? Um, did you feel sheltered, and then you lashed out, or did you just feel like it's my prime and I could try a little bit more, or what no? Was it? Honestly, no. Okay. I, I was never sheltered. I was never sheltered. Um, but I feel like I felt. I thought I was grown. Honestly. Like when I was fourteen, I was I was looking like I was sixteen, seventeen. The the guys I was dating was older. The people I was hanging out with was older. Like I just thought that I was older than what I was, and I started to get into a, a model of lifestyle that I saw the older people doing because I started hanging with that crowd. Mhm. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, and so it was just to me, it was just a, a natural progression. But then um, what I started to notice is that it got kind of out of my control. Like I saw Mm -hmm. around me, I didn't necessarily do these things, but I saw like the, 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 the risk getting riskier. I saw the drugs getting harder. I saw the, you know, I just just saw the progression and I knew that where it was going was not my portion. I didn't know what my portion was. But I knew, like, mm-hmm. okay, that right there, that's not the life I'm about to get into. Um, I understand. And so, and so I didn't know what to run to, but I knew where I was running from. And I believe all that worked together to bring me to accepting, um, you know, the goodness of the Lord and really latching on to him, what my best friend calls a rescue helicopter, where it's all this chaos Aww. going on in the city. The helicopter flies right. over, drops the drops the rope, and you got it. You grab it, and you get get your butt up out of there. You know. Okay, um, reach on and latch on to God. Yeah, and I think that's I I know that's what the Lord was for me. So actually, I got saved right after I had my son. I was twenty when I got saved when I spent mm-hmm. my twenty first birthday in Bible study. Hallelujah! Oh Jesus! 
That's yeah, it, huh? absolutely. I was, I was just, <laughs> most I people waiting been, for the turn up. <laughs> okay. I, I had been, I had been smoking and drinking for as long. Like I, I it was nothing. It, not, it wasn't. It was old it wasn't to you. Anymore. I had been doing it for so long. It just, really? it was gonna be the same old night out, getting wasted, blacking out, hooking up with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Sleep until two, three, four. Like it was gonna be the same thing I had been doing for years. She was ready for change, y'all. And yeah, thank you absolutely. for sharing that with us. Thank you for sharing that with us. Because, listen, we all get into that place. And I appreciate your transparency because we do transition. We do grow right. if you allow yourself to do so. And that's where I was trying to get to. It's like, well, when God actually comes into our life, it's not like we wake up and then we're a Christian. It's like we've gone right. through something and we've done it for so much time and it's war on us. And what we thought, like that grass may have, we thought yeah. it may have been greener. It was something we had not been introduced to. And then when you're in it, you're like, okay, and now what? Where does this go? What mm-hmm. will I be? What yeah. will become of me? Exactly. Right. So praise right. be to God for this, you know, mm-hmm. showing you that there's more in me. But when you got in the church, when did that mm-hmm. word actually start to make sense to you? Because until he gives you those ears to hear, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Well, until you can actually it, hear and understand, it, it, it's, right. it's foreign. It's like Charlie Brown, you know? So right. when did you actually right. understand that you could hear it? Um, I would say it took me a while, honestly. I think so the worship... And the love of the people and mm-hmm. was what really um was what really kept me um the Bible study where the word was really broken down um for me to to start to latch on to it that was attending Bible study was one of the biggest things that really helped me understand, but I didn't really under fully 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 understand like the concept of Jesus that took a while for me like. That's mm-hmm. that's a wild thing to to even explain, and then you got to believe in it as the truth. And I can barely uh, explain it or make sense of it. You know, like that was very hard for me. And people would compliment me on how much I was growing and how the big change they saw in me. And the whole time, I mm-hmm. I can't see it because it's happening to me. That's like when somebody say mm-hmm. like, "Oh, your child got tall," and you're like, "What? They the same?" You know, I see them every day. Them every day. <laughs> right. 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 So for me, I couldn't tell I was changing because I was I was so caught up on what I wasn't understanding. But the mm-hmm. whole time I'm just transforming. Right. So I think that's the beauty of the gospel that I, I um where I struggled, it didn't hinder my growth because my heart was so open to receive. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And I think that's a good time for us to transition to your new song titled okay. My Jesus. Well, not your new song, but your next song titled My Well, it could be new, <laughs> new to me, that's for sure. Um, it's titled My Jesus. Um, where did your inspiration come from, My Jesus? Um, <laughs> that kind of, I wrote that uh, hook. Um, before I even had the project in mind, because that's the title track to my project. It's the My Jesus EP, the My Jesus Project. Um, Beautiful. But I had I had the hook sitting around for a while, and um, when I started to work on this project, I just kind of picked it up, and I thought that it would be fitting for the, the time that I was writing. And it's mm-hmm. just... Um, I don't even... My, I don't even really know how to answer that question. Sometimes I just... Okay. You know, okay. stuff just kind of drops in your spirit and you just, you know, just kind of like I said, the world. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> every, yeah, every, every and, process ain't all deep. I be mad. That's okay. I, I, I have a story. <laughs> I have a story for every song they wrote, every lyric. Like, yeah. You know what, sister? You the first person to make it real cool. like that. <laughs> Yes. The the it ain't always he like that, that man. Like, <laughs> I thought his bird, like, and the bird I, I looked at me. Like, <laughs> like, man, I, I don't even have a story for this. I was probably going this and humming, and I just it. For real, but that's for real. That's real though. Like, that's probably. A I love it. 
<laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love it. She said, look, it ain't always deep. And don't nobody never say that, though. There's always, I'm like, okay. I, mean, I thought that was something y'all did. I said, well, let me just ask where that comes from. What's <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, that? Nah, okay. Nah. Like, Girl, I was coming, maybe. I don't know. But let me know how you feel about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we go, listeners. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are having fun with Miss Jason Brown, and here is her song. My Jesus, <laughs> my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Gimmick. Christ is the head of my life, so my life is infinite. Hey, hey, I stop, drop, repent, and listen. I'm on Holy Ghost fire. He's got all my attention. Then brings back to remembrance everything that he mentioned. As it applies to events, it's not out of my retention. It's out of my redemption. He paid the sinner's pension. Work hard, retire, eternal fire is not my mission. Now I'm not trying to be in your business. It's just my job to witness. I don't know your dilemma, but I know God's deliverance. Increase your odds of winning from none to guarantee. Yes, indeed, the son has freed. He's non condemning I walk with him, talk with him, eat bread of life. My heart's in, but often a meek hidden price. Without the basic foundation, chief cornerstone, ha, you on your own. My Jesus died upon the cross and rose again. That made the cause for all my sins. I need it cause without him, I would be lost. My daddy sent his only son to die for me and everyone to set us free from everything we've done. And it's not over till he comes. So here he comes. Praise God. Gifting of his son While you're running, running He's coming again so- Business or wish list on Christmas, like can I get this? Ain't enlisted as a witness of his richness through repentance. Mm. Then you ain't a Christian. How am I worth that when I deserve that? Purchase from the merchant serving the dirt bag for the cost of being flogged and cursed that most would have turned back and returned that. But I have somebody who stays beside me and favors me highly. He's patient to guide me. That's probably why you find me with a church at. He'll take your worst act and reverse that. Make the first last and you first pass. The finish line, the end of time is certain. Lights, cameras, curse, huh? Woo! My Jesus, yeah. Look, I know who he is to me. The question is, who is he to you, right? Man, we done been through so much together. And we still have a whole lifetime ahead of us. (laughs) you definitely can i really like your songs um please let our listeners know how can they find all of your projects and let's let's give it all to them so they can miss the opportunity to enjoy your works <laughs> amen so the easiest way to mm-hmm. get uh to get all everything is to go on mm-hmm. ig um, that's Chase Sarai, C-H-E underscore S-A-R-A-I. Again, C-H-E underscore S-A-R-A-I. Um, on IG, I have a link tree in my bio, and that will link you to SoundCloud, YouTube, ev- everything. Um, if you don't have an IG, just Google Shea Sarai, C-H-E-S-A-R-A-I, or Shea Sarai Music. Um, all of my stuff will populate, and yeah. You'll be able to find me. Absolutely. And if you can't find her, just log on to Positive Power Double XI. All of our guests are available. And if you tap in the speaker, you can check out all of our past shows and you can 
always contact our guests in that manner. Shay, we are so mm-hmm. happy to have you on board with us tonight. I would, I'm curious about two more things. Okay. <laughs> First thing is, <laughs> what is your favorite scripture? And what does it mean to you? Okay. So my new You can only pick one. Is, there we go. Uh, I, know, I, I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, don't be weary and well-doing, for in due season you will reap a harvest if you faint not. The reason there we why, go. The reason why I love that scripture so much is because God says you will, you will reap a harvest, not you might. Mm. But the only thing mm. you have to do is not faint. I mean, as long as you don't give up, as long as you keep getting back up, as long as you stick with it, as long as you see it yeah. through, as long as you, you keep your day into the plow and you keep mm-hmm. doing what God is telling you to do, everything you're working towards will come to pass. It's guaranteed because he said it and he does not take back his word. That is my There favorite. it is. Yeah, I love it right with you, sister. I love it right there with you. Every time I come across the word of confirmation, I'm like, go, Jesus! <laughs> oh, it was communion tonight at my church. <laughs> Do you guys have um, you had Bible study today? Well, yeah, we have communion. I say it's the first Wednesday and the first Thursday after the first Sunday. Hard to keep up with, but this is what I do. As soon as the first Sunday pays, I look for the next Wednesday because I usually go to noon day. But then they also Uh have the the traditional whole church service, but they do that on Thursday nights. So here, I go to New Psalmist Church, Bishop Walter Scott Thomas. Um, So that's the regimen at New Psalmist. They don't necessarily do it on Sundays with the three services they hold. Um, But it just hit me that I had communion today because <laughs> we were supposed to um, chime in. And I only thought of that because you went to Bible study. And so my question to you ah. was, during this corona, are you doing everything mm-hmm. via Zoom? Are you going in person with small groups and social distancing? How are you managing upon this pandemic? Oh, we are in person. We are live and in action. You come in with your mask and they take your temperature. Mm-hmm. As long as you pass those two things, you end um, the families can sit okay. together. Um, if you're not in a family, you don't sit in a cluster. You space yourself out. Um, but no, we've been having service for a month now. When 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 they open um, up Baltimore, yeah, when they open up this, the your church back, open. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, and it's been wonderful. Aren't you I mean, blessed? The presence of God, yeah, it's been so good. Mm, mm-hmm. I will say, Saint. I miss the sanctuary. Bishop is doing a great yeah. job of keeping us all connected, keeping us all involved. Um, my discipleship right. sisters, everyone, um, the church is doing well. It's trying to stay connected, but boy, yeah. ain't nothing like being in that sanctuary. Yeah, I miss like it. it. I miss it. Like I won't it. say yeah. I envy you, but sister, I may have to come join you. I need to be in a sanctuary. I absolutely yeah, it, it, it makes a do. difference. It does. It makes a difference. I know why he said it's that. Definitely. That's the gathering of the saints now. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. There yeah. it is. There it is. Um, before we close, I would like to say a prayer for you and all your good works. And then we're going to end with your um, your last song that we have here. It's called Made New. Don't want to ah. take away from that. We want to get that whole song in. Um, and I want to give you some time to speak on it very, very quickly. So tell mm-hmm. us about Made New. And then we're going to sing our prayer up to God. Go for it. Amen. So Nate New features my very, very best friend, Razel. She is actually coming on tour with me this summer. And it's just about being made new in Christ. It's a high energy, fun song. And we just get on there and we have fun and we rap about how the Lord has changed our lives. That's it. Amen. 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 Brothers. Brothers and sisters, I want to bring this prayer in the name of the Lord. Father God, I thank you for Shea Sarah and all of the talents that you have filled her with. Thank you, King Jesus, for this day and our daily bread. Thank you amidst this pandemic. You give us perfect peace. You give us 
strength. You give us forgiveness. You give us grace. You give us mercy. You provide for us day in and day out like the children of Israel. You provide our bread and manna. And, Father, we thank you. We thank you that tomorrow is not promised, but for those that you have in your heart, there is no worry. Just like the birds will eat, so too shall we be provided for. So I thank you for the gifts of this sister, and I thank you for our listeners this evening. In Jesus' name, I ask that you never leave us and you always stay with us. Amen. 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 Thank Since you. I thank you for being with us. You are so oh, welcome. So, so welcome. Much. So welcome. So welcome. <laughs> okay. yeah. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It was exactly. so great an opportunity to finally get a chance to meet you. You're no stranger to the positive power family. So thank you again exactly. for coming on. Batman, you have any last words from Ms. Shay Sarah? Well, you know, as soon as we get out of this COVID-19, we, we got to talk. All right, Shay, we got to talk. I sent you a, I sent you an inbox, okay? So we got to okay. talk. All right. All right. Thank Let's you so bring much. bring in the studio. Go. For show, for show. All right. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Have a good evening. You are listening to Gear Slide Worldwide Podcast. You can tell that we've been made new From the head to the soul That's all you, that's all you Going higher like we supposed to We go up, they go low That's all you, that's all you You can tell that we've been made new I've always been an outsider, don't try to box me He gave me gloves and the ring, the bell Now it's round three, I owe everything to the God Yes, the king of kings, the Father of lights, he illuminated my darkness. Now I'm walking like him, yeah. talking like yeah. him. When I fall down, I'ma fall up on the grace net, living water. Can you taste that? I'ma go back to the basics, giving praise. You see it thin, I know, man, you think it's strange. Baby, we focus, no hocus pocus, and I'ma tell you. Hey, we can go left, we can go right. Bring them out of darkness to the light. Cause ain't nobody playing in this season, my God. You can tell that we've been made new From the head to the soul That's all you, that's all you Going higher like we supposed to We go up, they go low That's all you, that's all you You can tell that we've been made new and I'm not prone to dig below the skin But I'm noticing this mediocre mold They trying to hold us in Problem is, the king too big to fit below the rim So the lid don't stick whenever they kick And try to close us in They ain't impressed with this flavor Cause they taste testing the savior Acknowledging our changes Won't pay homage to who changed us We've been in the trash, wait How we winning in last place? That's a drag race Them bad days and that ass trade And that bag stay with my dad, babe Hey, we can go left, we can go right, bring them out of darkness to the light, cause ain't nobody playing in this season, my God is the reason and it's Jesus, you can tell that we've been made new, from the head to the soul, that's all you, that's all you, going higher like we supposed to, we go up, they go low, that's all you, that's all you, you can tell that we've been made new. In the mode, the story's been told so eloquently. Animosity rose, and we on our toes, vigilant the venom, discernment. We winning like it's no contender, no division, so codependent. No religion, this is holy business, but never say that it's only business. Ethics unapologetic, etiquette at the table with my enemies. You can tell by the bond, we totally in it. The purpose of God, the lion inside us is hungry for more of you in a major way. Went from major pain to amazing grace. Now we making change like we broke a bill. That's a quarterback in an open field. Hey, we can go. Go left, we can go right. Bring them out of darkness to the light. Cause ain't nobody playing in this season. My God is the reason and it's Jesus. You can tell that we've been made new. From the head to the soul, that's all you. That's all you. Going higher like we supposed to. We go up, they go low. That's all you. That's all you. You can tell that we've been made new. To the 
can tell that we've been made new.